So, I'm just going to quickly show off what I've got. Right now I have like a full Godot scene with fluorescent lamps that make a buzzing sound. They turn off randomly. This is how it looks. And I also have some variables set up that I can like change and things will happen. These variables are for me, the stuff that is connected to the chat or like the pub sub at the event sub on Switch. Those are separate and not connected to this. This is just like for me to change things. And Godot is constantly loading this file to affect things in it. So for example, I'll set this to true, which will bring the phone up, which has also the chat. I just don't have anything sent to it now. Uh, let me change this to false. And I can also toggle my camera on. Oh. The way the camera is working is by Godot loading a resource file. Commands dot. Not, not resource, it's loading a JPEG. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. It's, Godot is constantly loading this resource file, which, which turns it on. Resource files are like pretty much native to Godot and they load very, very quickly and very like, without much resources being used. On it. And I have a, in terms of the footage itself, the feed itself, but Godot doesn't have, like, directly, like, you, you can't use webcams on Windows for some reason. It's only iOS and uh, macOS. I have no idea why. It's just not possible. So I made a little Python script that gets a frame of my webcam, and saves it as a JPEG, and then Godot is just loading it. I tried using a C sharp. I tried using C sharp within Godot. That was that was using like twice as many resources than just this one little Python script. So let me set this to false so that it doesn't turn off. And let me send a quick. A little message which should after a few seconds show up on both it shows up on, both on the phone and shows up on the chalkboard in like a chalk font i can also bring the projector down and turn it on i can toggle seat which just brings the brings me brings the viewer to the uh, to the center so that the projector is in the middle. It will, I can also do, I, oops, I can also move myself to be here because then there's a uh, camera zoom which just zooms in. I should probably toggle the phone down or I'll figure out a way to when the camera is zoomed in the phone will just move back and to the right so that like to the far right so that, a, so that chat is visible but also uh i'm visible <laughs> down here let me just that let me set this to false and turn on the projector the projector screen is white right now and i can also turn it to the, the reason it, it's white but it, if i'm using obs you can't just put an image on to, uh, put a c not c source on top of it like a you know video source on top of it because i'm gonna be hidden so i made it so that it's the video source is behind everything and i made it so that i can uh, change the projector to go from white to green. Uh, am I blind? Vector screen. So I'll go green screen. So it just goes to green, and I'm gonna toggle it back because I don't like how it looks. And Godot just keys it out, and I have the thing actually there, and I'm in front of it. So for now, that's what I have. I I have a chat. I, and I have 
this. I'm planning on adding some commands and I'm planning on having some like follow alerts happen like directly on the phone. Like notifications and the phone pops up and you see the follow alert or something, something like that. Maybe something more fancier, but I don't know if we can do that. <laughs> well, not right now, definitely. A lot of this stuff just takes a lot of time to work, to get to work. So this is what I have for now. It's a fun little thing that I can have on stream. I just it's way more f fun than just a blank, not blank, but you know, you, you understand what I mean. A, uh, just just a two D image. I feel like this is way more fun to look at, way more interesting. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a good day.